got a chance to get away for a little bit. And I had a list of things I was trying to get, you know, taken care of at the house and my honey do list. And I don't think I got anything I'm, uh, accomplished. So, uh, chilled on the couch this weekend, watch some football and, um, recharge. My coaches got out on Friday, did a little bit of recruiting and then took Saturday off and we were back in the office yesterday. So, um, guys seem energetic and, and, uh, refreshed and, uh, my coaches as well. So we're looking, get, looking forward to getting back to work this week and, uh, have to take on a very, very tough, uh, Morgan state opponent this weekend. I wanted to ask you about the health of the team. I know you had a few guys dinged up. Um, I just wanted to ask exactly uh, how everybody was coming back. And if you're at full strength heading into this uh, run with the Mia. We were looking um, relatively healthy. We had a couple of running backs go down. So we do have two running backs that are out. Um, but but uh, we did get a couple of the guys back. So we are relatively healthy. And uh, we're in the middle of the season right now. So this football. So we, we have to go. So whatever it is, we're going to have to tape it up, put a little ice on there. Some old old school Mercura Chrome or something, and and get ready to roll. If I could transition over to uh, Morgan State here, um, it's a team coming in that showed a lot of promise with their defense. Um, looks like they've had a few issues with trying to keep teams scoring on them. Exactly what type of a team is this? Because I'm trying to get a feel on it in camp. What do you see coming out of Baltimore? They've uh, they've been steady on on defense. They're very solid on defense, and obviously last year they caused a lot of problems defensively as well. You know, they're a gritty, hard-nosed group. Um, I think offensively, they've been a little banged up in certain areas. But um, uh, listen to Coach's press conference this morning, I think they'll be getting some of those guys back. But they, they're they explosive on the perimeter. They have some really good uh, receivers that can cause some problems. Uh, so we have to do a great job of our discipline and staying on top of everything and and, and playing everything top down of the deeper routes to the shorter routes. Um, but – uh, we've got to play well in all three phases this week, especially the kicking game. Um, we must win the kicking game this week, but they are a feisty, scrappy group. And, um, you know, they're coming off a bye week as well. So I'm sure they're going to have some wrinkles uh, that we'll have to be ready to to, to defend. It looks like they've settled on the guy under center. That's a deuce. Uh, what kind of problems does he present? And uh, are you worried about them <laughs> subbing somebody else in there because they, you know, got options? Yeah, we we'll, we are preparing for both quarterbacks. Uh, Deuce is the guy that's that's uh, played uh, the last couple of games, but I think that the Taj Smith guy is their starter, number zero, and um, I believe that he'll he'll have a chance to come back this week. So he is he's a weapon. Uh, obviously, uh, he can throw the ball, but he can definitely beat you with his legs, and he's very athletic, mobile, and can run. So um, we've got to pay attention to who's in the game. Uh, Deuce is kind of more of a pocket passer, and Taj is more of the scrambler and, and the one they want to get on the perimeter. You know, defensively, it's, it's, it's a little different. You know, you have to be prepared for everything because somebody having two weeks off, they're going to come in with something that we have not seen before. So we're going to have to be prepared. If we stop that, they'll go back with whatever we've been preparing for, what we've seen on film. If we don't stop it, if we don't have a plan for whatever they come out in, we'll see that for the rest of the game. So it's uh, – uh, defensive football is a little different from offensive football. You got to be ready to defend everything. And I guess the biggest thing is in-game adjustments. So whatever they come out in, uh, our coaches have to be alert and, and and locked in with that so we can make the necessary adjustments in-game to get these guys stopped. Last year's game up in Baltimore, uh, that was tight. Um, that was uh, that was down to the end. How important is it, especially with this squad, once you get a chance to get on top, not just to get on top, stay on top, but put them away and put them in a hole early? You know, I hope we can get a lead on these people and be in a situation we can try to put them away. But um, they don't they don't give up too much defensively. But if we do get up on these guys, we have to use the momentum. Obviously, it's homecoming, so the crowd will be in the game. And we have to thrive off of that. And and like you're saying, put these guys away. But I, I do believe that um, uh, we have been – we've started clicking on all cylinders offensively. So if we can get some momentum early, I would like to see us – uh, let it be like a snowball effect and continue to build off of that. But um, this is going to be, I, I believe, a low-scoring game, uh, defense, a defensive sc struggle. And obviously, like I said, this kicking game is going to be huge this weekend. And I definitely want to know about homecoming and what kind of stuff he's telling his players to stay focused. I think I know the answer, but it's always fun to hear it. You know, my thing is understand that it is homecoming. Enjoy homecoming. Uh, some of the events, you you know, sure, take advantage of and go have a good time. But um you know, we don't want to need to hit every party. We don't need to stay out till midnight. You know, go see a couple people, have a good time, and go get some rest. So 
Uh, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday, you know, go enjoy a little bit of it. Uh, Thursday and Friday, of course, you know, stuff is going to be off limits and it's time to lock in and focus in. But um, it is homecoming. There's a lot of stuff going on, a lot of activity. So I think part of the college experience is enjoying that. So um, we're trying to find a, a, a balance between enjoying homecoming and, and still being locked in and getting focused on winning the football game. With uh, the way that you guys are ranked now, uh, I don't even think this is going to come up, but is there a, a, an emphasis to not just put teams away, but to, as uh, Coach Bowden used to say, roll up half a hundred on them to uh, try and improve in those poll rankings? Because, I mean, you're getting to the point now where you're, you know, cracking the top 20 in some of these, the top 25 in another one. Does that even enter in or is it just, you know, staying focused on the wins? No, we we don't. um we don't go into games trying to pass stats or, or run up a score to try to help us with rankings. Um, now, we do try to play our best brand of football, and we talk about a standard, and, and we want to play and improve every week. Uh, but we don't go out there. I wish I did have that type of folk, confidence that Bowden did and talk about we're going to run up half a hundred on them. But uh, I don't see more than give up half a hundred to too many people. But uh, we would love to get up, and we would love to put them away early and enjoy the homecoming and uh, listen to the band and everything else. But I, I believe it's going to be a dog fight. We're probably going to play for four quarters. Coach, did I hear you correctly on the MEAC teleconference that you're going to be staying in a hotel Friday night? And secondly, yeah. talk about this crazy schedule, because as soon as you're done Saturday, you have you celebrate a little homecoming, but you will be at South Carolina State on Halloween night. Uh, first of all, yes, we do stay at a hotel. We try to keep our schedule the same every week. So whether we're on, at home or on the road, we always stay in hotels. So uh, we'll have uh, practice here. Then we'll uh, head to the hotel, have dinner and meetings at the hotel, and then come up, come back on campus, uh, obviously, prior to kickoff. Um, as far as the scheduling is concerned, um, uh, you know, first of all, as far as the Lynchburg game, when we lost Pham and Cookman and Hampton and North Carolina a t from the conference, uh, we had to kind of scramble to uh, fill in these voids. And most, most schedules are, you know, uh, put together three or four years in advance. So we were scrambling trying to find a game this late. Most people, most conferences are in season right now and that started as a conference play. So we were really struggling trying to find anybody with an available date uh, this past weekend, as late as it was. Um, but as far as the uh, South Carolina State game the following week, that's going to be a tight turnaround. You know, for us to have homecoming Saturday, of course our guys are probably going to hit some functions Saturday night, but we're going to have to have, have, to have a full practice on Sunday. So we'll have Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, and then we'll be traveling on Wednesday to play a very tough South Carolina State team in a very hostile environment in Orangeburg. And we have not, have not had much success in Orangeburg, so it's going to be it's going to be tough. But, you know, um, when you have opportunity to play on ESPN and they want to, you know, grab these games, uh, sometimes we're at the, the mercy of the conference with scheduling. But, um, you know, it'll be a short week for South Carolina State as well, so we're not going to complain. We're going to go out here, uh, play as well as we can this weekend, and then get ready to play Thursday night for South Carolina State. Any other comments that you want to give about the upcoming game against uh, Morgan State coach? We're, we're excited, man. And I got the utmost respect for Coach Damon Wilson and, um, you know, what he does. They've got a great coaching staff up there. And um, the fans are going to get to see a great football game this weekend because it's going to be a dogfight.